Hi guys, I'm Rita. In this episode, I will show you how you can issue an estimate to your customer on Zoho Books accounting software. First place where you can access an estimate, you can go through your quick links on top header section and you can issue an est estimate by clicking on estimates there. Or you can go to your sidebar on left hand side and under sales, you can issue an estimate either by clicking on plus sign or on clicking on the red button new. So let's add an estimate. We can select a customer or we can add a new customer by clicking on new customer here. So in my case, I will select a customer happy limited. We can still add it, um, edit billing address or add a new address. Select an estimate number. So I have 252, but you can edit by clicking on this settings icon. Reference number. So for this estimate, I will say project one. Estimate date, you can select any date from, uh, from calendar. And if there is an expired date for this estimate, you can add it here. If you have a salesperson in your team, you can ass assign or allocate this estimate to a particular salesperson. And also we can add a subject, what this pro project relates to, for example, event, event plan, okay? Now we need to fill in details of this estimate, which would include service or a product, what we would trying to sell or provide to this particular customer. So item details, I will select that I have event number one at a rate for 2,500. I can still amend description, I can amend quantity and I can amend rate. For example, in this case, I will have rate for 1,200. If I provide a discount, I can add it here and I can provide discount either percentage or a set amount. So for example, I provide discount of 200 pounds. So amount or estimate amount would be 1000 pounds. If I need to add more lines, you can add another line here. When you click on drop down box, you can select uh, items in bulk or I, uh, you can add an item header. So. If you do not need to add another line, click on that red cross and it will remove it. Okay. If we have any other notes to add, we can add the customer notes here. And if you want to apply shipping charges, we would add shipping charges here. In my case, it is service. So shipping charges or delivery charges or courier charges doesn't apply in my case. If there is terms and conditions that need to be noted, for example, if there is uh, upfront payment or deposit required, you can add it under terms and conditions. And also we can upload the file uh, to support this estimate or quote. Then when we scroll to the bottom, we can email to, either we can select to who email or deselect. In my case, I have an email there and I have three options what I can do. Either I can save as a draft this estimate, save and send this estimate or cancel. In my case, I will send and save. Okay, now you are presented with an email template. You can add more details if required. Also, you can BCC someone in. So that person who receives will not see who else has received this email if you wish. You can amend details, you can review and attach any files if required. Once you are fine with an email, click send. So now Happy Limited estimate has been distributed out to client. We can edit, we can send mail again, share, print or download, convert to invoice and do any other options if required. So in this episode, I showed how you can create an estimate to customer and distribute it out. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me.